Hey guys, welcome to your Monday workout. Hope everyone's doing great. Um, both me and John miss you guys, but all the results that you guys are getting over this unwanted break are is pretty amazing in itself. So keep doing the hard work, stick to your meal plan, stick to the workouts. All right, so for today, we're gonna be doing mostly upper body, so shoulders, back work, maybe one plyo and then one leg, one leg exercise. I will say for this one, you will need bands. So if you don't have bands, Go ahead, go back to the recollection and um, or to the to the collection and use one of the past workouts. Um, for bands, some of them you can use um, weights if you want to substitute for weights instead. You can do that. But since a lot of you I know purchased your bands, I wanted to go ahead and make a workout video specifically dedicated to the exercises that you can do. Bands are absolutely phenomenal, and I believe in them more than I actually believe in weights. Um, time under tension matters way more than actually lifting a 10 pound or 15 pound. Your body doesn't know how much your body is lifting. All it knows is that it's under a certain amount of tension. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys, so let's start off with some upright rows and we're gonna superset that into some shoulder presses. So I have my band right here. And I'm gonna let my feet be the stabilizers. All right, so it holds it in place. And then this is gonna be a wide grip because you're gonna be wanting to hit your uh, rear delts. So I'm gonna go wide right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it up. Notice how my knuckles are facing down and back up. So I want 15 to 20, right? So three, four, five, six. Be careful that you don't hit those traps. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, keep going, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more, come on, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19 and 20 and then you're gonna go straight into a shoulder press so my feet are gonna stay in exactly the same position but the only difference is I'm gonna shoulder press the band so let's do 15 to 22 one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, keep going, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, guys, so get three to four sets of those and then go on to your next exercise. Welcome to your second exercise. So you're gonna be doing um, lateral raises, supersided with some front raises. So again, we're gonna be staying on the deltoids. Um, so to do the lateral raises properly and correctly, you're gonna hold the, the band down with one foot and you're gonna use the opposite side to do a lateral raise. So you get that tension right here on that side delt coming up and slowly back down. And again, stop about right here. If you go any higher, you're gonna hit the traps. So I want about 15 on each side. So that's 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, and one. And then you're gonna switch to the other side. So I'm gonna take my other foot, pull it there, and I'm just gonna do the other arm. Ready, set, go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
and then I'm gonna go straight into my front raises. So I'm gonna get 15 of those. And just how it sounds, you're gonna just raise your hands to the front. Going no more, or going no higher than where your shoulders are. So 14, 13, my knuckles are facing outwards. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. If you guys can't get the full 15, that's the third exercise. You're gonna be going into your tricep extension and then you're gonna be super sitting that with some jump squats. So with the tricep extension, you can either tie it at the end of a railing so it holds it in place where you knot it, or if you don't have anything like that, you can always do what we were doing. So I'm gonna step on it with my heels and I'm gonna bring this over my head and I'm gonna extend my tricep just like so. Close grip on the tricep but make sure you still have enough tension there. All right, so my ears, I'm sorry, my elbows are gonna be right where my ears are. So I'm gonna keep my elbows in tight and extending right up, full extension. So we're gonna get 20 of those. Fifteen. Elbows are gonna to wanna to flare out, keep them straight and Get 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And let's go ahead and get 15 jump squats in there. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, guys. All right, so welcome to your fourth exercise now. So we're going to be hitting the biceps and then more of the rear uh, delts. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something called a bicep uh, pose curl. So I have, and this will be seeing arms, so we're isolating each arm. Um, so I have the band tied basically straight across from where my, my shoulder is, because I want to get a good stretch on that bicep. So when I'm coming up, I'm getting good contraction there. All right, so let's do 15 on each arm. So I'm going to go stretch it out, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch over to the other side. Same position. 1. Two. Now, the only reason why I'm not going farther out, the farther out you go, if I were to go further out, I would get a better contraction on my biceps, but I don't want to lose, um, I want you guys to see the full view of what I'm doing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, keep going, thirteen, fourteen, 15, all right? Straight into those face pulls for our rear delts. So I'm coming down here and I'm coming, as it says, to the face, all right? Because that's why it's called face pulls. So 15, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, 
three, two, and one. All right, so repeat that super set three times, three sets. Now again, the only reason why I didn't go further out is because I wanted to stay in the camera view, but the further out you go, the more uh, challenging it'll be. So I encourage you guys to do that if you can. All right, and then go on to your fifth exercise. All right guys, so for your fifth exercise, you're almost done. You just have one more after this. We're gonna do some hammer curls and then straight into uh, deadlifts. All right, so for the hammer curls, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this. I'm gonna put my feet so it holds it in place once again. And I'm not doing bicep curls. Bicep curls would be the rotation of the bicep and the arm. I'm just gonna go straight up. So my knuckles are facing the outer parts. And we're gonna do 20 and then 20 of the deadlifts, okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five more, 16, 17, 18, 19, and on the last one, hold there for a good five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, awesome. Now let's go into the deadlifts. I'll turn to the side so you guys can get a better view of how that works. So I'm gonna grab as low as I can go so it gives me more, um, more tension. And now I'm gonna be working my hamstrings. So I'm gonna be coming up. I'm not moving my arms, the only thing I'm moving is my lower half, all right? My arms basically stay in place. So we're gonna do 20 of those. 19, squeezing the glutes at the top. 18. 17. 16. 15, keeping my chin tucked in tight. 14. 13. 12. 11, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one more, and 1. All right, guys, you're doing great so far. Now, you just have one more exercise to do and then wrap it up with a little bit of cardio. It's beautiful outside, so hopefully you guys, once again, get a chance to go outside and take a little jog. Your sixth and final exercise, we're gonna do some um, tricep pull downs, and then you're gonna go um, straight into a lot pull down. So, this one, pay attention to where my hand placement is. So, I'm extending my hands out, then I'm gonna come down and I'm literally just going to contract my triceps. So I'm pulling down, stopping right where my chest is and coming straight down and getting good contraction. So 15 of those. Make sure your hands stay in place. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Those are a little difficult, so if it feels a little awkward, that's normal. Then you're gonna go straight into a lat pull down. So I'm gonna get a wide grip right here. I'm gonna come down to the floor and I'm gonna be working my lats, so chest out, pulling with my lats. 20 of those, 19, 18, 17, 16, make sure you're not pulling with your arms, you're pulling with your lats. And more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one all right guys so three to four of those congratulations you'll be done 
Once again, get outside, take a nice little hike or a walk, anything, get that blood, get that blood pumping, flowing, and get that heart going. Miss you guys. I'll see you after um, April 30th. Hang in there. April.